What's up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Billy Collins, and on this episode, I'm going to introduce you to my new segment to the show called Tipsy Tuesday. That's right. Every Tuesday, I'm going to give you a tip that you may find interesting. And on this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a classic martini or a classic gin martini. But before we get into the video, do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's right there. Actually, that's the picture. That's what it looks like. It's down below, but I like the dramatics. And over here, go ahead and hit the notification bell. I got future videos that I want you to see. By hitting that, you get notifications when they're up and running. So guys, here we go. All right, guys, here's how you make a classic gin martini. Now, martinis can come in different shapes and varieties. This is gonna be your classic gin martini. You can also do a vodka martini. Uh, that has a little bit less vermouth than what the actual gin martini has. You can do dirty martinis, which you add olive brine to it. But for this episode, I'm just going to concentrate on the gin martini. Now you need a couple ingredients. You're going to need, of course, your gin, which my choice is Tangeray. Always has been, always will be. Uh, a lot of people will disagree with it. Whatever the case may be, this is my go-to. You'll find this in most, most bars and homes as well. Uh, so if you're a bartender, you know, obviously, you know, the classic Tanger and tonic. If you're hosting a party, this is a great one to have. It's not so expensive and it's tasty. Also, you're going to have your vermouth. Now, this is a dry vermouth. Now, for those that aren't familiar with what a vermouth is, a vermouth is a fortified wine. What fortified wine means is that they add alcohol to the wine to raise the alcohol level. Now, they also add different botanicals and spices to kind of give it that little more of a kick, that flavor, that boost, zhuzh it up, I guess you would say. Uh, so yeah, that's your vermouth. Your tools, obviously, you're gonna need your martini glass. I've chilled this a little bit. I'll show you how I chill it uh, here in a second, but I like a nice, good, thick stem on my martini glass. It's good to hold. You can carry it. Uh, it doesn't break as easy. You'll get some that are really, really thin and it'll break extremely easy. This has got a, a good, nice big bowl, open mouth, good for sipping as well as pouring. Uh, this is a Mikasa martini glass. I'll leave a link down below in the description uh, where you can get these. They're not that expensive, but they're hearty, good wine glass, or I'm sorry, martini glasses. You're gonna need a couple of glasses, one to mix and one to fill with ice. Your ice, obviously, you're going to need uh, your strainer. You're going to need that. I don't shake my martinis. I like to stir the martinis, so you're going to need your, need your stirrer or your spoon, uh, your peel, because I don't use olives in mine. Some people like to have olives. I like to use a lemon, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So let's get started. First, you're going to want to chill your martini glass. Now as you're making, building your martini, you can just swirl this around a little bit. Let it get the, the nice water and let it melt and chill the glass nicely. You're going to want to also fill one glass with ice all the way. and let that sit for a minute as you build your drink. So now, your gin. You're gonna do two parts, two and a half parts of your gin. I also recommend if you're a bartender to learn how to use this. This is called a jigger. It's important. I think as a bartender, and I've bartended for 15 years in high volume bars, and there's two things that I am really, really key about is to be efficient and also be consistent. And with the jigger, you keep the consistency part in hand. Once you learn how to use that as well, you can actually speed up the process. So now we're gonna take our vermouth. 
and you work just about three-fourths of a part as I make a mess put it in there just so you get a nice taste to it you're gonna take this you're gonna pour it over your ice so it chills it up now there's different ways to stir this up. You can either go slow or fast. I like to go a little faster on my martinis to break down. Uh, I said there's two ingredients, but there's an unspoken ingredient as well, and that is water. So this is basically just straight liquor, and the water helps dilute the harshness of the liquor. It's kind of like the unsung hero of many cocktails. But with that being said, you want to get your spoon all the way down to the bottom. And we give it a nice stir. Stir it up nicely. Now, I like to hold the glass in the bottom. Uh, this is actually not the proper glass to mix it with. You wanna do like a big beaker style glass. I just don't have one of those in my home. So I'm just using one of my Tipsy Talk pint glasses. Uh, we're gonna mix this up. About 30 seconds, make it nice and cold, chilled. Now, the pour. Your glass is nice and chilled. You can see, hopefully you can see that, that it's got a nice uh, little frost on it going on. I don't like to shake my martinis simply because I don't want to bruise the actual gin. Uh, I want it to be fresh and nice and smooth. I want it to be silky, silky smooth. And it's, believe it or not, it's taken me a while to learn how to make a classic martini over the past 15 years. I've always had to reinvent the wheel for myself uh, just because I'm not a big martini drinker however it's one of the staples in your arsenal so with that being said you take your strainer put it on you want to push when you push the strainer it locks it in and you pour around the glass like that now your lemon you want to get a nice big lemon something that is uh, got a lot of flesh on it and you want to take your peeler kind of dig down into it you get a nice peel on that now you want to get all the oils from the lemon by squeezing by squeezing this and just rubbing it over or just fanning it over top of your martini and then you just want to take the oils and just coat the rim of the martini glass and then you just put it right there on the side of the glass and that is your classic martini all right, gang, there you have it. There's your classic gin martini. Now, like I said, there's many ways you can make this martini. You can make it with vodka. You can make it with gin. Uh, there's different types of ingredients you can use. You can use olive juice to make it a dirty martini. You can use actual olives instead of lemons. I like lemon myself. That's why I chose this. Uh, but it's up to you. You're the bartender. You're the party guest. If you want to be that cool bartender, make one of these. They'll love it. If you want to be that party guest, that people can't wait to come back to your next party, make a good classic gin martini. They're gonna love you for it. And guys, with that being said, do me a big favor. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs up anyway. It's not gonna hurt you and it's gonna help me. Don't forget to do all that fun stuff. Hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. If you have something that you wanna talk about or if you want a tip that you want me to go over, let me know on this channel I'm, or on this segment of the channel. If I don't know how to do it, I'm going to bring in an expert that can show us how to do it. So with that being said, guys, I love the martini. I love you. And we'll see you on the next video.